One of the nice things about collection views is that they don't try to do everything themselves. Instead of defining how the data is presented, this job is handed off to a collection view layout object. Similarly, a collection view doesn't organize and manage the underlying data either. This is the responsibility of a data source object. A data source object manages the data and provides the collection view with snapshots of the data to display. Let's say our data consisted of a series of names that we wanted to display in the collection view. We start by defining an initial snapshot. A snapshot is considered the truth of the current UI state. We provide this initial snapshot to the data source along with instructions on what to do with the data and it handles the rest. The data source takes each value from the snapshot we provide and applies it to the collection view. That is, it asks the collection view for a cell and assigns the data to the designated spots in the cell. But a data source does more than that. Let's say our collection view had a sort button and we sorted the data alphabetically. This is a second snapshot of our data. We hand it back to the data source and ask it to display the same data but organized in a different manner. The data source can automatically figure out the difference or the diff between the two snapshots and instead of simply populating the collection view with new data, it tells the collection view how to move the existing data around to present it how we want. Because the data source can diff between two snapshots, it is called a diffable data source. Diffable data sources use a declarative approach to dealing with the underlying data. Rather than telling the data source how to move the data around, with a declarative approach, we simply tell the data source what the new state of data is. The data source automatically does the job of figuring out the difference between the old state and the new and how to apply those changes to our collection views. The only requirement for this to work is that in the data set you provide to the data source, each value must have a unique identifier. In this simple app of ours, you're just displaying rows of numbers, but you can use the number itself as an identifier. As long as each number is different, the values will be unique. In code, diffable data sources are defined as instances of the UI collection view diffable data source class. When creating an instance, you specify what type of data it will contain, along with instructions on how to populate the cell. Then we create a snapshot of the data using the NSDiffable data source snapshot class. Let's check it out in the next video.